Thank you. Thank you, Ron. All that, and I'm only 25 years old. Um, that was uh, a, a very nice welcoming. I appreciate that. Um, I'd like to start off on how many of you have already signed a lease? So I, the rest of you have not. We're all we're looking at uh, the, the talk tonight. We're hoping we'll we'll cover those folks that have not covered or that, that have not leased, and then a little bit of what what do you do now that I'm leased? What what can I expect? And um, as we go through this presentation, we won't spend a lot of time on it because I want to hear your questions from you and try to help you through the, the process that you're going through now um, to help you make better decisions. And to make, that's what we're, we're here for, so you can have all the information you can. As we all know, is there anybody from the gas industry here that wants to raise their hand? No? <laughs> I don't know him, but I, he's bigger than I am, so I'll be nice. Um, it, we're not, the National Association of Royal Tenders is not oil and gas industry negative. We are not against well drilling. We, you all make revenue when they drill wells. We want, what we, what we want is a level playing field. A good lease, good cooperation while they're on the property. Uh, if something happens that they drop something, they pick it up in a timely manner. There's just that they want, we want the mineral owners to be treated as they should, with the respect that they need. Um, so anyway, if you'll forgive me, I just had a root canal two days ago, so speaking from one side of my mouth. I was, I'm gonna go through this and talk about some of the points here. Um, this is from the National Association of Royalty Owners. Well, there's, there's 10 duties that you have as a mineral owner that you should be completing. Um, four major events for the main, these are the events in the life of the owner. Your ownership, you may or may not lease your property. Once you lease it, you may or may not get a division order, depending upon the company you're dealing with. And then when the well's drilled, you start to receive royalty checks. First one, know what you own. Does everybody in here know what that they own the mineral, that they know how many acres it is, where it is? Believe it or not, there are people and there are owners that don't know where their minerals are. They, they may have come down through family members. They've never dealt with them before. They live in California. The property's in West Virginia or Pennsylvania. Next thing you know, somebody passes, and now it comes to you, and you don't even know where it is. So we're, know where your property is. That will have a direct result on how much money you may or may not make, that is, of where the property is. If you had property in southern West Virginia right now, you're not going to, there, there's not a whole lot of drilling going on. There's not, the people's revenues have dropped 20 to 30 percent from what it was in the last couple of years. There's just, just, it's declining because it's all moved north. The activity's all moved up here. Uh, know what information you need and where to get it. Know where the court, you go to the courthouse. Get your information. Find somebody that knows the courthouse that can get you information. There are all, there's, there's lots of people out there. There's attorneys, there's landmen that that don't necessarily work for the gas companies, that can help you and, and work you through that process. This whole thing is a process of, um, of getting your gas leased. Know what's going on in the area. There's all kind, right now there's, there's more websites than I, the, than I think anything out there. If you go to, it's called uh, gomarcellus.com, you are connecting with people that are going through the same thing that you're going through. And they're having conversations on the website of how much did you get or how much you're getting in Beaver County? You know, what's the, anybody from uh, Mon County, anybody from Ohio County? You're getting a lot of conversation on the internet right now going on. That'll be helpful when you decide, as you go through this process to make your decision. Uh, number four, I'm gonna skip. Uh, know who's, if your gas is already leased, know who you're dealing with. It, has anybody gone through a lease and signed and the next thing you know you're getting information from another company? Yet? Some of, most of you knew, you know, next thing you know you, you sign with, and I'm just using these names, I don't have anything against them. You sign with Chesapeake and next thing you know AB Resources is sending you a check. Or somebody from California or Texas or somewhere is sending you a check. 
know who they are and, and get, get more familiar with them as you, you're going to be working with them for a long time once they drill the well. It's going to be a long, you and your, your, uh, your relatives will be dealing with them for a long, long time. Know what questions to ask and to whom to ask them. Right now you are dealing with landmen. Landmen being a, germ, or a general term. They're, they're guys and gals um, of different experience levels that, um, that are trying to do a job, may or may not know what they're saying or, or how to say it. Their job is to come and get your a document signed. Period. That's what they're there for. They've researched the, the, the ownership in the courthouse. Now they're coming out and they're knocking on doors wanting to get, to, get a signature from you. Um, once they do that, that's probably the last time you're going to see them. The next person that you may see is a surveyor or somebody that's in, in operations coming out to start 